peaceful for people that want to donate but don't want to use the likes of PayPal or Patreon or anything like that. Right, one more thing I'd like to talk about um, before we go. Uh, it's something that came to my attention uh, today. And um, it, well, it was this. There we go. It's a cartoon that appeared in the New York Times. Uh, as you can see, we have a, uh, a sausage dog, or a, a wiener dog, do you call him in America? I'm not sure. But a sausage dog leading a blind Donald Trump. Doubtless, the uh, the idea there is that, you know, obviously Israel's leading America around. But there have, of course, been many, many claims of anti-Semitism where this image is concerned. Now, some folks, we just lost the chat box there for, for, for whatever reason that I don't actually understand. There it is, it's come back. Now, of course, many people are saying, well, it's not really anti-Semitic. It's just a commentary on Israel and, and America. And, and why? So that, that's what it is. So could someone explain to me why Trump's wearing a yarmulke? I mean, you can talk about Israel leading America around, which is, which is incredibly insulting for Americans, as if any country really leads America around. But if it's not about religion, why did they put that skullcap on Donald Trump's head? Now, the New York Times have apologised, said it shouldn't have happened. But I think this is indicative of something worse. I will be doing a much longer podcast on this in the future. It's, it's too much to get into tonight. But I do genuinely believe that the anti-Semitism of the left is fueling the anti-Semitism of the right and empowering them. And the anti-Semitism of the left is, is, is insidious. It's, it's done with love almost. It's, oh, it's about the Palestinian people. We're not, we're not anti-Jew, we're just anti-Israel, anti-Zionist. This is a big one. Well, I'm anti-all Zionists, when Zionism is just the, uh, the right for Jews to have their own state. Well, Jews shouldn't have their own state, so why should anyone else have their own state? Why should there be Muslim states and Christian states? So it all gets muddied up. Worst case, examples are dragged into all of this. But this cartoon is very insidious. Because it is about religion. It's not just about the countries. But that overstepping the mark seems okay when it comes to anti-Semitism. It seems accepted. Because of Israel. Bad Everyone else good. Israel bad. Israel owned America. This appeared in the New York fucking Times. Now I know they've got form. I know they've got previous form. That they denied the Holocaust is happening and wouldn't cover it shit. But that was a long time ago. This shit looks like one of those old 1940 bullshit cartoons. You know, from the 30s rather. The anti-Semitic sort of Nazi propaganda. This is no different. In fact, there was a cartoon. I should have grabbed it. It's just come back to mind here. It was a picture of the globe and a, a Jew leading Winston Churchill around the globe. Very similar, except in this case, the Jew's the dog. And also, who, 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 who has a sausage dog? as a guide dog, for fuck's sake. You know, um, people are always keen to jump on you when it comes to Israel and Judaism and things like that. Israel does many things that are unpleasant, particularly in the West Bank. Hamas do many things that are unpleasant. Why aren't we screaming about them rewarding the family of a man who went out and murdered a Jewish girl? Because we don't. When Israel does something, it's the, it's the actions of the Jews. When the Palestinians do something, it's no, not the actions of the Muslims. It's just an uprising of the Palestinian people. It's two-sided. And there is anti-Semitism involved. Now... This in no way says the criticism of the Israeli state is anti-Semitic, because that's not true. No government should be beyond criticism. Not a one single fucking government in the world should be beyond criticism. But people don't half play favourites with it, don't they? <sighs> Crikey. It's a good job we all live in countries where our governments don't do terrible things and murder innocent people. Or... Wow, we'd look really silly, wouldn't we? Um... And I do believe this this more accepting thing. I mean, look at the Labour Party in the UK. They're about to be investigated for anti-Semitism. It's gone fucking insane here. 
you got people telling Jews what is and what isn't, and it's anti-Semitism, and it's acceptable for the left to do that. Could you imagine them telling a black person that, oh no, you can't find that racist? Or telling a Muslim, no, you can't find that bigoted. But somehow with Jews, it's okay because of Israel. Or that Israel have done something they disagree with, therefore this excuses it. And all, all of just the, the plain Jew haters, let's be honest, jump on the back of it. One proof of this, go to the Daily Storm and read their instructions of how to be a socially acceptable anti-Semite. Ticks all the boxes of the stuff that we see. And all that does is empower the right. And then fucking nutcases from the far right, they're the guys that have the guns, predominantly. They're the guys that have the guns. The far right, I don't mean conservatives. I mean race haters. I mean the full-blown fucking white supremacist lunatics. They're the guys with the guns. And they're further empowered to go on their mission of shooting innocent people, as we have seen just the other day. Because, you know, them Jews is bad. They control the world. They do all these things. So it's okay to shoot up a synagogue full of innocent fucking people. The left encourage this. The left are helping with this. The left are empowering the murderous people on the far right. Simple fact. Doubtless many will watch this video and tell me I'm talking shit, but as regular viewers will know, I don't really fucking care. If you can't give me a decent argument, I'll just put you in the box with all the other fucking idiots. And for those that even don't, please, the one comment that annoys me is, I suppose you think you're smarter than me. Because obviously, yes. Goes without saying. I'm a fucking genius who's never wrong. Even when I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, that was the New York Times practicing a little 